Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Okay, I thought it's time to do some more work on the power supply. So anyway, it's actually now looking like something. We've got front panel, a couple of side panels, but you may be asking yourself why there's no back panel. Because it's going to fit under the thing like that. So nobody's going to see this messy stuff at the back. And it does work. I have tested it. Even put in a little power LED. Don't know if you can see that light up when I press the switch. You can sort of see it's not very bright. This power switch does disconnect the transformer from the mains. It doesn't just disconnect the transformer from the rest of the thing. It does so it's a proper on off instead of just some kind of standby feature. Looks a bit messy, but everything does work. The only thing left to do to this is I've got to put some knobs on the uh, things here. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut them down to size first. I should have really thought about that before I put them in. That's not going to be too difficult to do. I've already marked the first one. Just measure how much of a gap we have here, which is about 9 millimeters. And there we get. Then just mark. Just mark 9 millimeters off there. And there we go. That's where I've got to cut it. So I've got to unsolder these first, so I can actually put them in my vise, cut off the excess, which shouldn't take too long, after all that's only aluminium, or aluminium as some people say. Shouldn't take too long with a hacksaw, put them back in, solder them up, and let's give it a test. Okay, that's one put in now. No nasty gap between the, the thing and the thing. And I've got the other one cut to size. Also just had to mark out which wires are which, so white wire goes there, green wire goes there, and the grey wire goes there, so I'm just going to solder these two back on there, and I think that'll be that. Well, here it is, everyone. The finished power supply. Well, it's almost finished. All I've got to do now is mark where each voltage is, Oh well, live and learn, I guess. Got a little cramped around here trying to separate all the numbers. Because, like, there's. This is about 3 volts, this is about 4 volts, and I have to t turn it a tiny little bit of a way to make it. to change the voltage there, so I've just. From there, I've just marked, like, the major voltages, like 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, 20 volts and so on. Wasn't such a big deal with this one though, apart from where the screws get in the way. i got to put this under there. Now this is how I'm going to do it. Got quite a few of these uber long screws. I mean they are stupid long. Okay, we now got something to put the power supply in with three nice long screws. I just hope the holes line up. Put the power supply on the desk like this. Drilled a hole right here, then continued on till it went through. So then I just took this screw, put it in to anchor it in place. Did the same with a couple of other holes. So these holes here, this one here and this one here, match up with these holes I've put in here. And of course I widen the holes a little bit so these screws would go in nice and loose. So I'm going to screw the power supply onto those screws and let's see how well it looks. Well there it is. The screws lined up absolutely perfectly. Unfortunately, had it on the skew when I was drilling out all the holes. As you can see it's kind of this end of it's kind of poking out, but as long as it works, that's all I care about. And just out of curiosity, I'm going to see what kind of voltage I can get out of this. 
with the meter connected between the positive and negative, so the ground isn't connected. It's got my meter there. Turn it on, and the light doesn't light up. Oh, I haven't plugged it in. That would help, wouldn't it? Alright, so gas in, and we've got 26 volts. Now I'm going to turn this up all the way. Let's see what we have. Alright, we've got about 47 volts out of this. So if I ever need something that's going to require over 40 volts, well, I can certainly do it. Anyway, the next thing I'm going to do... Well, the next video, anyway. Now, this is done. Is I'm going to make a flyback driver with separate frequency and PWN controls, but instead of using the regular 555 timer or anything like that, this one is going to be done using an op amp. And I will see you in that video. Now for now, until next time, goodbye.